this phone by default is come with a Swift key keyboard and a Google keyboard. Go to setting, scroll down, system, and then find a language and input. And then there's a Swift key keyboard. This one is by default. And then you go to Swift key, just click it. It will show you the language, team, and typing. Things. Oh, this is my one. Now I'm using the black color. So now I'm using the black color. Then you want to change to other color. You can select whatever you want here. This one is a. Uh, in yours is by all is a uh, default and it's all free. And this one gallery. This one you have to pay or buy it or download it. Okay, now I show you how to do a uh, face unlock. First, you go to setting, security and privacy. Go to face recognition. Key in your password. And then you come out of this uh, uh, tutorial how to use it. Click and click and roll the face. Okay, now show show him the face here. Try to look up and then you're done. You're only enable to put one face on this phone. I uh, wearing the glasses and then do the scan, do the face recognition. But when you do the face unlock and you take out your glasses, it still can it still can unlock or in the night or in the dark place still can end it. it still can unlock I'll show you how to change the screen resolution go to setting click display and then select the screen resolution uh, by default it's a smart so if you want to change the resolution you can disable it and then you can select HD or full HD or WQHD this is uh, the highest one so how to turn off auto brightness so go to setting display this auto adjust you click and it will auto it will disable the auto adjust this is a sleep mode time so you can select 50 seconds by default is 30 seconds so I want to take a longer time so I will choose to the maximum is a 10 minutes the, the color and eye comfort is to adjust the, the neutral tone this one you should auto adjust the color temperature based on your ambient lighting for the consistent it will detect all your environment lightning and then it will, it will adjust the, the, the color on the screen I comfort is like when you reading uh, articles on your on your phone here. It's uh, it's like very strong. It will feel uncomfortable for your eyes. So you can enable it. Enable the eye comfort. You enable the eye comfort to enable the the cooler and the, the color temperature to cooler the warmer for your reading your article during the night or during the dark place. You also can schedule the time here start time and end time so how to mute your phone by flipping your phone so go to the system uh, smart assistance and motion control and then this one is a flip to mute the first one here you flip over you will mute the you will mute the incoming call or the mute the timers and alarm there's another special feature is when you pick up the phone you can choose to uh, reduce the ringtone volume reduce tone volume for the timers and what alarm and or when you make device when you wake up when you pick up another one is a race to ear when you put it on your ear you can answer the call make call smart speaker or smart bluetooth headset and now i want to show you how to enable the 
the knuckle features you done on the screen how to to record your screen or capture your screen and then go to the settings smart assistant uh, motion control and then go to knuckle features to take screenshot you have to just like this twice or you take your screenshot then you use your knuckle here just use your middle finger here the knuckle here and then just double your screenshot and then the, another feature is using the middle finger again draw a circle and then it will show you here you must push harder and then draw so how to enable screen recording by two knuckles and then you could click to twice you enable the screen recording how to use uh, the shortcut for the camera with, the, with taking a photo in the same time you double click the volume and then you click it so how to enable it you go to camera and then select the photo open the camera setting here put all the way down and then you will see the ultra snapshot and then, and then you can see the description you will say double press the volume down button you will take the screen is off when the screen is off so you will take the photo or you can when you open the camera you will take a photo or you don't want the, this feature you can turn off and then now i'll show you how to enable the wide angle macro and the zoom first you have to change the setting here change to uh, 10 megapixels and go back and then you will see the this is a normal zoom uh, normal view and this one is a wide angle as you can see there's a wide angle this wide angle this one is a normal and yeah, this one is a zoom this one is why you can select by scrolling as you can see the maximum zoom is 10 just like that to enable the master AI in the camera so you create same thing camera setting there's a master AI you will auto select your best shot based on your setting here then how to enable the you can see the line box here for the line so then you go to camera setting in the photo mode there's an accessory grid so you can select the you can turn it off okay so you can see there's a long line and then if you want to turn it on you just select the grid this one is a normal grid normal grid the, there's a fine grid spiral this one is a, it's like a circle as you can see there's a circle it also has uh, left or right this one is best of best of where this one is best for your preference how to use the use the camera to scan QR code and then uh, scan the, the items so when you open the camera mode you open the photo and click this and then you will, will come out the shopping or you can use the identify to example this is a watch this is a watch let me scan and then it will show this is a watch on the floor okay you can use to shopping and then you will scan 
you shut up this is a uh, uh, okay this one is this one is not clear ah uh, yeah and there's a watch here and then you can use the translate so for like, example I have uh, this uh, spectacle spray behind has a words so I can use this to translate sorry it's, it's now it's auto detect change to English so let me change to English uh, to Chinese okay let's let's take a try as you can see there's a Chinese and this one is a English and then when I put it back it shows Chinese but it's so no accurate yeah there's a Okay, another one. This one is a uh, very visual. This one is a QR code. You scan the, the QR code here. How to use the portrait mode? See, there's a. Uh, I'm using a portrait mode in the front camera here. And then you can select. This one is a uh, lighting. This one is a, like a disco, the old school stuff. So, so then four. Okay, this one is a very funny stuff. Okay, and then you open up. <laughs> this is how the photos looks. So here I'm gonna show you how to take the photo in the night using the night mode here in the night mode now you change the, the I think this one is a aperture for 1.4 and the ISO change to 100 hold your hand stay still So how to take slow mo? You go to the camera mode, scroll back down, click to more, and there's a slow mo here. Click the slow mo. There's a slow mo here. This one is a twenty-four, thirty-two. Let's try the maximum. Okay, and then you click. And that. So this is how the slow-mo works. Okay, that's all for the part one and part two video for the Huawei Mate 20 Pro, 34 Pro tips and tricks and uh, hidden features. So if you have anything you want to ask, anything you want to say, just leave a comment in the comment section below. And then please subscribe my channel. If you like this video, click the share button and then like. And then that's about it. And I see you next video.